This adventure brings us to beautiful Monterey and Carmel, California. We stayed in mid-October, which is the best time to stay on the coast of California. We stayed at the Carmel by the River RV Park in Carmel Valley. We are in Carmel, California. Um, another adventure with our friends. We are at Carmel Beach right now. We are getting ready to go on a bike ride. We're gonna head over to Monterey, to Fisherman's Wharf area, then go along Canary Row, then go along um, Pacific Grove to 17 mile drive and then back here to Carmel and do some exploring. We're staying at a really cute RV park in Carmel Valley. It's called uh, Carmel by the River RV Park and it's just so cute. I'll show you some footage of that place. But anyway, we're gonna get on our bikes and have a little adventure. Guajito Road. It cuts over from Carmel to Monterey. Beautiful views from here. Not very many cars. Haven't seen any at all. Beautiful day. What's left is right. Chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. Cannery Row. Look at that historic building, the old canning company. And here's Sly McFly's where I used to work. The 17-mile drive is a scenic road from Pacific Grove through Pebble Beach. It is a gated community and there is a toll to enter for automobiles. Bicycles are free. There are gorgeous homes, golf courses, and stellar ocean views. Whether on a bicycle or in a car, this drive is not to be missed.
Wow, look at the color of that ocean. Oh my gosh. Carmel's got it going on. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, this place is so cute. <laughs> the welcome committee's here. <laughs> oh, hi guys. Hi. Glad you made Monterey Bay. We are going to do some kayaking. We're putting in by uh, San Carlos Beach by the Coast Guard Station. There's a nice um, boat ramp and you can also put in right at the beach but we decided to use the ramp. We're going to head down towards the aquarium and explore the uh, wharf area and hopefully we'll see lots of marine uh, wildlife, sea otters, harbor seals and so forth. Um, this is a spectacular morning. The weather is amazing. A little bit of cloud cover, not windy at all. We are so lucky. Monterey Bay. Look at all these sea lions. We might want to... <laughs> of the sea otters. They hold on to the kelp uh, so that they can float and relax and not float away. So here is the marina over here. Then there's San Carlos Beach. There are a ton of scuba divers. They do the scuba diving lessons out here too. So there's probably a hundred or more people diving or learning to dive. The beginning of Cannery Row and we're gonna head down towards the aquarium. Here's Cannery Row. Lots of kayakers out here right now and we're starting to see some sea otters. Beautiful day. Here's the Monterey Bay Aquarium. We made it down oh, almost a mile down the coast south of where we put in.
We're about two miles down from where we put in and we're seeing all kinds of harbor seals and some sea otters and it's just amazing. You just kind of float here and they pop up and clear their nose and poof, you can hear them and go back down. It's just so cool and magical. Her baby. Yeah, there's a little baby in on her belly. Taking her. <laughs> We're getting out of here, little one. There are little sea otters all along here. Okay, we should probably go around them though. <laughs> quiet and they don't stink. They don't stink. They're not stinky. Oh, you know what? They're holding on to this. No, what are they? I thought maybe they were holding on to a buoy chain. Harbor seal right on the rock right there. Taking a little nap, sunning himself. We made it around the marina and here's Fisherman's Wharf. Checking out the marina. After kayaking, we walked down Cannery Road to grab a bite to eat at the Salty Seal Brew Pub. incredible day oh my gosh kayaking on Monterey Bay was just such a cool thing <laughs> um, then we had lunch down on Cannery Row we went to the salty seal pub that was fun with our friends and now we are headed to the monarch sanctuary the monarch butterflies come here every October November December um, but they conglomerate here and I think there's something like 700 of them there so we're gonna go check that out
The monarch sanctuary is home to thousands of migrating monarch butterflies each year beginning in October. It was mid-October when we visited and there were only about 700 butterflies, but at peak time there can be tens of thousands of them overwintering in the grove, peak time being around Thanksgiving. They spend the winter months there in order to survive, rest, and conserve energy. By the end of February, they are mostly gone. Be sure to subscribe to catch the next sterling adventure. Good morning. We are in Cal... <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> we are in... <laughs> Hair, oh, mouth, you're a glove, Kathy. Huh? <laughs> Hair, mouth, function. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. I looked all over. Did I do? I brought <laughs> You did bring them. What are your high hat? <laughs> oh my god. So can you just take your bike and lean it? I gotta pee. <laughs> it's not a good time. Oh. <laughs>